26 Kerry Blue Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Kerry Blue Terrier, also known as the Irish Blue Terrier, is a medium-sized dog. Adult male Kerry Blues typically stand between 18 and 19 and a half inches in height, while females stand around 17 and a half to 19 inches. Similarly, males weigh between 33 and 40 pounds, while females weigh slightly less. Number 2. One of the most recognizable features of Kerry Blue Terriers is their unique facial hair, often referred to as their beard. This facial hair gives them a distinctive and dignified appearance. Number 3. What makes the Kerry Blue Terrier more distinct is its dense and soft coat, which has a wavy texture and comes in a mix of blue and gray hues, often with darker areas around the head and feet. Number 4. Another unique characteristic of Kerry Blue Terriers is that their coat color changes as they mature. Puppies are usually worn black and their coat gradually lightens to the characteristic blue-gray color as they grow older. The transformation is usually complete by the age of two. Number 5. The Kerry Blue Terrier has small V-shaped ears that stand up. They are a decent size and sit high on the head, making the dog look alert. People who breed or own Kerry Blue Terriers pay special attention to their ears. The ears are like triangles and usually point sideways when left alone, which some folks like to call flying ears. Number 6. Known for their intelligence and curiosity, this breed has dark, alert-looking, deep-set eyes. These eyes are small, not prominent, and play a part in the breed's keen expression. It's not desirable if the eyes appear even slightly yellow. Number 7. The tails of Kerry Blue Terriers are often surgically shortened through docking. Yet, in certain countries, the practice is banned, where these dogs retain their natural tails. A proper tail is set high of moderate length and carried happily upright. Number 8. According to the American Kennel Club standard for confirmation shows, if a black Kerry Blue Terrier is 18 months or older, it is not allowed to participate. Also, even if there are white markings on a black dog of that age, it still doesn't count as the right color, and the dog is not allowed on confirmation shows. Number 9. Stanley Korn's research in the intelligence of dogs ranks Kerry Blue Terriers 35th out of 79 dog breed groups for above average working dog intelligence. They typically require 15 to 25 repetitions to learn a new command and get common commands right about 70% of the time on the first try. Number 10. Kerry Blue Terriers need regular physical and mental exercise. Without it, they may become destructive, so it's a good idea to provide them with a durable dog bed. And also, avoid leaving them alone for extended periods to prevent boredom-induced chewing. Number 11. Kerry Blue Terriers, being terriers, have a natural tendency to dig because of their hunting background. They might dig to make a cozy spot, explore scents, or they might just do it out of boredom. You can redirect this behavior by giving them toys, ensuring regular exercise, and setting up specific digging spots in your yard. Number 12. These dogs often show dominance or aggression towards other dogs and have a strong instinct to chase small creatures. This could lead to conflicts if you have a cat in your house, and it might be even more challenging if you own a pet rabbit or a hamster. Number 13. Kerry Blue Terriers are excellent at watching over their home and family. They're alert and brave, and they absolutely enjoy being around their humans. Sometimes, they may bark a lot at new things, so it's important to establish yourself as their leader so they know when to stop. Number 14. The Kerry Blue Terrier is a breed of dog that has a lifespan of around 12 to 15 years, although individual dogs may vary. Like all breeds, the lifespan of a Kerry Blue Terrier can be influenced by factors such as genetics, overall health, diet, exercise, and veterinary care. Number 15. Kerry Blue Terriers are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they may be susceptible to some common health conditions. Not every Kerry Blue will experience these issues, but it's always important to be mindful of potential health concerns like entropion, hypothyroidism, skin cysts, cancer, cataracts, dry eyes, chronic ear inflammation, hip dysplasia, and patellar luxation. Number 16. Kerry Blue Terriers can have a condition called Factor 11 deficiency. This means their blood struggles to form clots, leading to significant bleeding after surgeries or injuries. It's akin to their clotting mechanism missing a crucial ingredient, making the healing process a bit more challenging for these guys. Number 17. Corns, warts, and calluses on their feet or nose are known as keratoses. They can be painful and are often linked to thin pads or flat feet in Kerry Blue Terriers. Corns in particular may be inherited. It. Treatment options include surgical removal or the use of antibiotics and corticosteroids. Number 18. Dogs like the Kerry Blue Terrier can have mild bleeding issues because of type 1 von Willebrand disease where their blood clotting ability is impacted by a low level of von Willebrand's factor. Number 19. 
The history of the Kerry Blue is kind of covered in mystery, with the dog seemingly appearing on the southwest coast of Ireland over 150 years ago. Various tales, including one about a shipwrecked dog with a blue coat, attempt to explain its arrival. Despite the lack of a definite origin, this sturdy breed soon became an integral part of life in the Kerry County. Number 20. The Kerry Blue Terrier became a popular all-around farm dog in rural Ireland during the late 19th to early 20th century. Some theories propose a mix of soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, Bedlington Terrier, and possibly Irish Wolfhound or Irish Terrier blood in the breed's development. The extinct gather herding dog is also mentioned as a potential influence. Number 21. In the beginning, aggression was intentionally bred into Kerry Blues. Early Irish dog shows required the dogs to pass a gameness test, including tasks like catching rabbits and bringing a badger to bay. This led to the breed acquiring the nickname Blue Devil because of their tenacity in these tests. Number 22. In the early 1900s, Michael Collins, an Irish patriot, wanted to make the Kerry Blue the national dog of Ireland. Sadly, he was killed before the law could be passed, and interest in the idea faded away. Number 23. The exact introduction of the Kerry Blue Terrier to the United States is unclear, but it is believed to have appeared at the Westminster Show in 1992. The American Kennel Club officially recognized the breed in 1924. Number 24. A significant moment occurred during the Westminster Show of 1926 when enthusiasts gathered at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City to establish the Kerry Blue Terrier Club of America. Mick, the Kerry Blue Terrier, also known as Champion Torum Scarf Michael, clinched the Best in Show title at the prestigious Westminster Dog Show. He stood out as one of the outstanding show dogs of his era. Number 25. According to the nationwide registration data compiled by the American Kennel Club for 2022, the Kerry Blue Terrier secures the 146th spot out of 199 recognized dog breeds in the United States. Number 26. If you're considering adding a Kerry Blue Terrier puppy to your family, be prepared to spend between $1,200 to $2,500 out of your pocket. However, the average market price of these dogs generally is around $2,000. Alright guys, now which of these Kerry Blue facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.